Yellowstone grizzlies are back on the endangered species list. A federal court judge has reversed a two-year-old decision to delist the bears. Delisting had given states around Yellowstone National Park, Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana, authority to manage grizzlies. The federal government and the states came together and based on sound science and a healthy grizzly population, agreed that the grizzlies no longer needed the protection of the Endangered Species Act. It's unfortunate that one slam of the gavel can erase that agreement. But conservationists who sued to get the grizzly relisted say its future is not secure. The judge sided with conservationists. Despite today's population of well over 500 bears, the judge ruled that grizzlies could be put in jeopardy again due to loss of a key food. Whitebark pine cones produce high-fat seeds that allow female grizzlies to pack on the pounds they need to raise cubs. Slow to reproduce, it may take a single female 10 years to replace herself in the population. But these high elevation forests are under attack. It's a goner. Both a native pine beetle and an exotic fungus are killing the trees. The federal judge also cited climate change, which scientists say is making beetle infestations even worse. Whitebark pine is the engine that drives the health of this particular bear population. And that sets it apart from Glacier National Park or Banff in, in Canada or Alaska. Whitebark pine is it. it. This is the engine. And losing it will be catastrophic to the health of this grizzly bear population. But critics of the ruling say that's speculation and that grizzlies are adaptable. There are a variety of food sources available to grizzly bears, and they range and graze on a wide variety of plant species, it is not difficult for grizzly bears to find adequate feed within their habitat area. So it's another change in the bear's status. But this ruling is not likely to be the last court battle over Yellowstone grizzlies. For This American Land, I'm Gary Stryker.